I'm here today doing the guinea pig tag and um, yeah, I saw this on YouTube and I was just like, yeah, I've got to do it. I can't remember if someone put me in the um, direction of this tag. I can't remember whether I just found it myself. Um, it's the, the channel that I saw this tag on was the guinea pig fluff channel. Oh, and they have the most fantastic guinea pig videos. It's so cute. So there are 10 questions. I've got them printed out. So I'll crack on. Number one, how old were you when you got your first guinea pig? Um, well, I was an adult in my own home. Uh, la, la, la. So I must have been 25. Yeah, 25. Number two, what was the name of your first guinea pig and their type? He, we got him just before Christmas, um, literally uh, Christmas Eve. Um, let me see, does it ask how we got him? No. So, we got him on Christmas Eve. Um, he was an older guinea pig. I don't know what his type of breed was. Um, he got longish hair but quite matted, so I need to kind of look what breed he was. And I'd been seeing him in this pet shop for quite some time. And he was the last guinea pig there. He was getting on. He didn't look in greatest of health. Uh, I concerns about the company um which i did um report and um i don't know if i was guilt tripped into getting him or not but basically they said that um you know they were closing down you know for christmas and you know they had to do something with this guinea pig so i got him for free i said i will give him a loving home and because we got him at christmas i called him christmas cracker jack um but um, we mainly called him Cracker most of the time. We dropped the Christmas Cracker. So, yes. And he was gorgeous. Um, number three, what is your favourite type of guinea pig and why? I'm sorry, no, I cannot distinguish between them. They're all so adorable. If I had to say um, one that I wasn't so keen on, it would be the skinny pigs, you know, the ones with no with no hair. Um, just because I can't, I've never owned one and I've never stroked one, I've only ever seen them on YouTube videos, I just kind of wonder about how you can cuddle and snuggle them, that's all. But they're still cute. Um, number four, how many guinea pigs do you currently own and their names? So we've got two, we've got Betty Bobbins Boop, Betty Boop, we call them so many different names, Betty Bedetti, Bet Bet, Betty Spaghetti. <laughs> She's three years old and she's a long hair and um, she's slightly blind. She's got a cataract spesser, which they can't do anything for, um, but she's got a hold on a nerve. And then we've got Bay Cupcake Bumblebee. She's one years old and we purchased her from a shop um, because Betty's um, mate died and she wasn't coping at all well and we just, there were no... Um, guinea pigs around at the time up for adoption that we could have paired that we knew of anyway that we 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 looked at rehoming centres and stuff in our area and so we just made the decision for Betty's welfare to purchase Bay and they get on like a house on fire. Number five, what are your guinea pigs' favourite treats? They do not like the sticks that you buy in the shops or they don't like any of the little crunchy nibbles or anything. They are vegetable and herbs through and through. Fresh veg, fresh herbs, sometimes dried herbs. They are just not interested in any shop-bought treats, bless them. They're very healthy. We've I've tried, you know, I kind of do buy stuff for them thinking more, more mummy thinks, oh, you know, hard done by, they need treats, but... They're just, they're just not interested. Number six, what kind of cage do you own for your pigs and its size? Well, I did a tour of, of how they lived before and here because we moved house and the our sort of requirements and everything changed. Um, so all of those videos are in my guinea pig playlist, which I'll pop a link below. And yeah, you've seen Carrot Cottage where they live now. And I've done a proper tour of that, so that'll be in the description below. Number seven, are you thinking of getting any more small pets? Yes, always. Um, we want to get another one or two guinea pigs uh, at some point. Going to leave it a little while because we want to kind of um, 
have more than two guinea pigs so that when one um, goes over the rainbow bridge, the other ones won't be so lonely, at, uh, you know, so we won't have that mass panic to try and find a mate. We want to kind of keep them rolling, if you know what I mean. And I mean, the rabbits are seven and eight. They're in good health now. How long they will be, I don't know, but I don't know. I'm always open. I'm a sucker for a, I'm a, sucker for a sad story as well. So uh, at some point we will have more animals, no doubt. Uh, where do you keep your guinea pigs? Um, they're in the utility room. They've got their own room with the rabbits. Obviously they don't, they don't mix, but they're in the utility room, which I've shown you quite a few times on vlogs and the, the house tour. So go and check that out if you haven't seen those and you want to see more of those. What are the pros and cons of owning guinea pigs? The pros are the joy and the love that they give you. They are adorable. They love you. They love to snuggle. They're entertaining. You know, you can watch them. The cons, the only con for me would be the smell. Um, I, don't eat, I don't mind cleaning them out because I love them. That's all part of looking after them and maintaining them. The only thing is the smell. And because they live indoors, and they, you know, I'm very conscious of the smell. So, um, you know, I'm forever cleaning them out. <laughs> um, I do their, like, proper change all the bedding and newspaper every day in the morning. And then I spot clean poop around lunchtime. And then again before they go to bed so yeah just because I'm really conscious of the smell and that's the only that is the only con I suppose the only other con of owning any pet really is going on holiday you need to get people to look after them so we are quite lucky that um, our parents they um, come and stay and look after the animals when we're on holiday number 10 what are your guinea pig nicknames I didn't read ahead did I so yeah we've got We've got Bay, Bay Cake, Bay Cupcake, Bumblebee. And that's it for Bay, really, at the moment. Um, Betty, as I said, is Betty, Bet, Bet, Betty Bedetti, Betty Spaghetti, Bay Boot, Betty Bobbins, Betster. <laughs> and then we've got the Splodge and Nibbles, the rabbits. You know, they've got Nibble Noon, Nibster, Splodgy Doo, Splodgy Wodgy. All those kind of, you know, variations on their names, so... So yeah, so that's the guinea pig tag and just a little bit more about my little furry critters. So um, yeah, speak to you soon. Bye. P.S. If you'd like to do this tag, the questions are below and let me know if you do so that I can come over and watch your video too. Thanks.